be prepared throughout for offensive language and adult themes. Tonight, Jameen tries to get his story straight. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm not going to swim in the outside. Dear 13, 934 AM. The celebrities have reached the halfway mark. Either Chloe or Hardy will be evicted tonight. Gabby and Ben are trying out some moves. You're going to jump, yeah? Okay. I'll push up. Yeah. So thick. <laughs> okay, we nearly had it, yeah. And it's there. So it would be like that. Yes! <clears throat> that would be it. Okay. Well done. Okay. This is sick. Okay. Let's just try it that way then. Okay. Hand down. You're so little and. <laughs> so... <laughs> right, pull me up so I'm standing on. Yeah, just get me on your leg. <laughs> Here you go, just stand, baby. I can feel you. Right. Okay. We're gonna go bounce, bounce, bounce up, yeah? Yeah, bounce, bounce, bounce. Uh, yes! <laughs> we got it! <laughs> You're amazing. Wow. That's sick. Jamin and Dan are finding it hard to get out of bed. I might be able to get away with that. I can't get away with that. Hmm? I can't get away with that. <laughs> Come on, boy. I'm just going to put my hands over it. All oh, this pillow here. <laughs> hmm. I don't think it's going to completely go until I just get up. Mm, no, I've touched it and it's just like, oh. <laughs> What's that? What's that? It's like on guard. What's that? Who did that? Who did that? Is anyone here? Sally is using her powers in the diary room. As a psychic, as uh, somebody that is sensitive to picking up energy, I do think it could be Chloe. I think she was a little upset last night, you know, when she went to bed. I think that she, she may have had a, a little cry last night. I think Chloe feels she's been a little bit used by Jay, and I think that, that she feels a little bit exposed. Sally, how do you feel Jermaine might be feeling right now? Oh, crumbs. What have I done? And I think he, he should be feeling that. And the other fellas in here, they think it's just hysterical that um, he may have screwed up a relationship on the outside. As a woman who, who likes um, fidelity, I can't say that, that um, you know, I find it funny, but life's going to catch up with him on the outside. Eleven thirty-two a.m. Ben and Gabby's flirty dancing has caught Roxanne's attention. <laughs> How many you got on the go now? <laughs> you stop. <laughs> no, no, no. You, if you didn't have bra and panties, that thing would be off. I've got it. bra and panties on. I'm always bra and panty full. That a word. Hardeep and Chloe are chatting about the upcoming eviction. I'll miss this in a strange way. <laughs> yeah. I want to stay as much as I want to leave. <laughs> and I can't make any log can't make any logical sense of that, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like if I left, I'd be really over the moon. If I stayed, I'd be really no, over no. the moon. <laughs> it's nuts. That's what everyone keeps saying, like it's a win-win situation. Well <laughs> I'd like to keep in touch, you know? Yeah, for sure. 
Jermaine, Dan and Kirsty are talking about marriage. Marriage isn't easy and it's back and forth and it's twisty and turny and then you throw kids in and then you throw tired in and then you throw work in and you throw finances in and you throw all that shit in. It's like the hardest thing in the world, I think. It's not easy. And you start off and it's all easy because it's, it's they're exciting. beautiful and they're hot and they're this and they're that and that's like a drop in the damn bucket. The struggle's real, you know? The struggle is you love someone and then you have all these other, you're taking care of kids, you're changing diapers, you're giving birth, you're blah, blah, blah. You're working, you're making money, you're bringing it home. I mean, I don't think anybody ever teaches you how to be a parent yeah. or a husband or a wife. Yeah. It's a work in progress. It's a constant work in progress. It is, and if you don't create it, it doesn't exist. Well, there's no romance. Well, what did you do in the beginning that made romance? Hello, do you want to go to dinner? Here's flowers, here's this, how about a bracelet? How about we go here, let's go away for the weekend, and people stop doing that. Yeah, sure. So then there's, there's nothing created, so then you're just like, yeah. Yeah, fuck right. you, you wanker. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Twelve twenty nine PM. Um, Roxanne has a question for Chloe. Are you and Jermaine okay? I haven't spoken to him today. Mm. But yeah, I was just saying it's a conversation we need to have today. Yeah. I was not in the mood last night. <laughs> I think it's always better through the day than on a night when someone's had a drink. Yeah, exactly. I was like, if you're gonna do it, at least do it when you're when you have the confidence without the drink, not just because you've had a drink. Yeah. But guys are a different breed, aren't they, Sal? Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Absolutely. Yeah, but it's sometimes simple. it's like they're idiots and we need to just ignore them. There's the caveman syndrome, isn't there, where if you push a man too far, he'll retreat into a cave. He won't want you to go on a bad note. Yeah, I think that's so why you wanted well. to chat last night. Exactly. And also, you're going to be asked so much when you get out of there. You need to I be know. well equipped to answer those questions. That you're going to be asked a lot, so... Yeah. Have the bloody conversation. I was proud of you for saying last night when you were in bed. You had your opportunity <laughs> and you blew it. It was the way you said it. Yeah, why am I going to go around your schedule? <laughs> Girl power. Yeah, all it is is because she's up for eviction. Mate. All it is, that's how it's all... Did I not say that to you? The day you get back starts chirping up, going, ah, what you yeah. Oh, come on, man. It's all be bad. And all of a sudden, you come out thinking, fucking, come on. Yeah, it's not a coincidence. It's not, no coincidence at all. Coming out of the day you get an eviction, oh, can we talk? And pardon? No, we cannot. Don't play these games with me because you will lose. <laughs> Shit, the bed. You are right, though, man. She's your butt for nomination, and then all of a sudden. Starts barking. Oof. Do you think she did just take it all the wrong way, or do you think she knows what she's doing? She knows exactly what she's doing. She's a young girl, she's only 21. That's not my fault. No, absolutely not. She don't do nothing. She don't cook, she don't clean. She annoys everyone with her mess. What does she do? She don't crack jokes. We all crack jokes about her. Ben has come to the diary room. Little Gabby Dini, wow. She is a talented, talented little individual. She's an interesting character. It's like when her walls start coming down, she's got a lot about her, to be totally honest. Um, she's a bit standoffish, which I like, but then all of a sudden, when that little twinkle comes, oh, she's got a little sense of mischievousness, and I like that. And then when she does get in, she is in. It's like, wow, like... She is like, that, to me, is I respect that and I appreciate that and I'm buzzing off that. And it does, I, you know, when you, you see yourself sometimes in people, don't you? She gets the same kind of buzz as I get, I think. I'd love to develop something there and sometimes, I'll be honest, I'm going to say how it is, I don't want to come across big head, but I see her little look, look on her on me sometimes from her and I just a little, a little something there. And she puts me on the back foot a little bit and I like that. I like to be put on the back foot. But I don't put a read on it, big brother. And I can't, and I don't... I don't think she knows where she is or what she wants, and I'm a little bit like that, I suppose. Coming up, Nick 
loses his lunch. Fuck oh, me. What the? Just fucking got all slipped over my on that piece. One seventeen p.m. Nick is collecting his laundry from the storeroom. Hello, Treacle. <laughs> How you doing? That's right, you're talking to a washing machine. My Hi. name's Wendy. Who are you? Uh, Nick. Oh, it's a pleasure, Nick. How you doing? I've actually heard lots about you, and I think we've got a few things in common. I like laundry, you like laundry. We ain't worlds apart, are we? No. Right, now let's get down to business. I'm looking to make a trade, and I know you know all about that, don't you, sweetheart? Yep. Now, this is my offer. A little birdie told me there's a special family occasion on the horizon, is that right? Correct. Ain't it your little boy's birthday? Correct, tomorrow. Well, if only you could get a message to the outside world and wish him happy birthday, eh? That'd be lovely. Well, Nick, your luck might be in if you can make the trade. It's time to air out the closet and tell a few home truths. You'll need to spill the beans and tell the housemate exactly where they're going wrong and after doing so, literally spill a bowl of beans on them. Literally spill a bowl of beans on them. Yep, that's right. OK, I'll go with hard deep and I'll go with Ryan. All right, Nick. All right. Don't get caught with your pants down. <laughs> it's happened once before. Don't let it happen again. <laughs> All right. All right, good luck, Treasure. I'm counting on you. All right, cheers. One of the things, Hardeep, that we've got to do if we, if we, if you stay, and this goes for all the boys, I think we need to do a bit more of the cleaning of the general. Has that areas. been said? No, it's not been said, but you know, I think we need to do it. I mean, part of the issue is it's like, it's like washing the dishes in my mum's house. I'll do it, but I know for well she'll do them again. Mm. I think there's a thing with Sal and Kirsty where they're, you know, they're women of a certain age, long in the turf, yeah. know how they want things. Yeah. Isn't helpful, I suppose. Fuck me. What the? Just fucking got all slipped over my on that piece. Fucking is, yeah, quick, get it off. It's all right, mate. Fucking hell, mate. God's fucking made a fucking. <laughs> 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 Ryan, you've got my nail clippers. I can't see them in the back. I can't see them in the back. Yeah, definitely put back in, mate. I just pulled everything out. There's nothing there. 100% I put back in there. Who's someone else might have used them? Check around the floor, because I put them on top of the bag. I definitely did, Nick. Definitely, definitely, definitely. It should be there, mate. Hello, darling. How are you getting on? Not too bad, you. You seem to be taking your sweet time out there. Are you having a laugh, aren't you? I've done one. Do you want your son to get a birthday card this year or Absolutely. not? Absolutely. Well, you better get on with it then, well, my Ryan darling. Ryan has to get out of the uh, jacuzzi yet. Well, you're going to have to think up a way of getting him out of there, won't you? All right, understood. Now, I can't see anything. Where were you cutting them? I'll have a look for a minute, mate. We have a quick look for us. I just want to get this bit of nail off. Sorry about that, but I can't find it. Yeah, I'll have a look with you. It's the only thing that fucks me off, you know, if people don't put stuff back and that. One million percent, I was down there and I remember dropping it on top of it all. That is, like, a million, million percent. That's all right. I'm sure we'll find it. <sighs> Otherwise, I'll have to fucking kill you. <laughs> oh, you just spilled beans all over me. Why? <laughs> what? Happened? I, know, I just fucking tripped, didn't I? All right. <laughs> I was like, what's going on here? <laughs> I'll clean it up. Leave it there. It's all right. Just the towel, anyway. I'll clean. I'll put that in the wash. Okay. There's no towels out there. Yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah? Yeah. So one chicken, two mints, one, two, 
three, four, five. Macaroni cheese, six. We're done. And then another vegetarian meal. It's going to be tight. We'll get there. You'll get there. All right, darling, about time. Yeah, I know. It took, it, the last one was difficult. Well, you didn't really rinse them enough, did you? Ah, uh, no, that's not fair. They both got beans on them. Nick, I don't want you in hot water with your family or putting a dampener on your little boy's birthday. So, with that in mind, I'm prepared to sweep the beans under the carpet and let you send a card home to your lad. Lovely. Go over to the cupboard, under the mirror, just there. Ah, lovely. Now, I can't have anyone finding out about this, so you need to write that card in here, quick as you can, and put it back in the hatch. Nick, love, can you share with Wendy what you're writing there for your little boy? I said, Mackenzie, have a great birthday. Love you loads. Missing you. Make sure you give Mummy a kiss from me. Oh, that sounds lovely. Wendy's well up here. <laughs> I really appreciate this, Wendy. You're on my Christmas card list forever. Well, you know, Nick, a deal's a deal. Thank you. And remember, this is between me and you. You're not to let the cat out of the bag, OK? Absolutely. Bet you're full of beans now, aren't you? Absolutely. Thank you very much. All right, it's been a pleasure. We'll See meet you later, again. Nick. Pleasure trading with you. <laughs> Thank you. Four or two p.m. Jermaine and Dan have given Ben a makeover. Hey, Rox, come here. Come here now. Look at our Ben. Fucking, I don't need to scrub up well, what? eh? I don't like it. Hmm? You look yeah. like it's Easter Sunday and you've been told to behave. Undo that one. OK, go. OK, go. There we go. No! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, we just spit so you did it on why are you trying? You're making him into a good lad. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You said you want me to smart yeah. my attitude up a what little bit. What do you think bit. about this? There we go. Let's get another opinion. What do you think? Turn around. Go, what are you a... dressing up for? Give us a twirl. He looks the bollocks, doesn't he? Yeah. I approve. Oh, no. no, no Don't these. polish Ben. Don't. I like him rogue. It's like polishing a turd, isn't it? Nick and Ryan are in the garden. For some people in here, it, 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 it can be life changing for them. I, I know, I agree. Do you know what I mean? You're I'll, not one of them, I'm not one it, of them. It won't change our lives in the slightest. No. I think Sally will take it really philosophically. She won't be too bothered about it. I don't know about Jermaine. Jermaine's sometimes difficult to read. I don't think Chloe benefits greatly from this. Oh, no. No. Not doing her no favours. 50-50 tonight, though. Absolutely, and, you know, I think Hardeep might even have an edge. Plus, he won a vote already. Like, I, I mean, all of us, Hardeep included, right, the 11 of us that, that are in here would have expected Natalie to win the first one. We got that fucking... Everybody got that completely wrong. I'd have put the fucking house on it. <laughs> so that'd be no bank and no house. <laughs> Jermaine has come to talk to Big Brother. Hello, Jermaine. Hello, Big Brother. How's your day? Um, it's OK. Eviction day is always, um... It's just not nice, is it? When you lose someone you shared stories with, woke up to every morning, gone to bed with. Hardy brings a lot to this house. You know, he's always checking if you're all right. He's always willing to make food. You know, you can have deep conversations with him. Um, he's a clever man. What if Chloe goes tonight? How will you feel? I'm um, obviously sad as well. I'll be sad to see both of them go. But I don't think it'll be a, a big as loss. What does Chloe bring to the house? <laughs> <laughs> think this says it all, don't it, big brother? Not a lot, unfortunately. I don't think anyone's seen her do the dishes. She never put things away. She's always getting told off for leaving her clothes everywhere. Everyone's had a bit of banter about me and Chloe, but that's, that's, that's all it is, and I don't know if people or someone or an individual has taken it the wrong way, but to me, it's just been banter. That's all it is. I've got someone on the outside. I'm not doing anything wrong. I know where, where the line is. 
housemates have made an observation about Kirsty and Chloe. You look like twins today, the two of you. Yes, don't they? They look related. <laughs> We're hookers. <laughs> you're on, you're the, on the game. You're on the game. Oh I'm on the game. I've been on the game for 57 years. I'm <laughs> freaking tired, so I had her. Not because I wanted her, not because I love children. I just need money. <laughs> Sometimes we tag team, don't we, darling? <laughs> she brings in what, like a thousand a night? I bring in like ten. <laughs> but I'm telling you that ten bring, makes a lot of cans of beans, <laughs> right, darling? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
8 or 1 p.m. In preparation for the live eviction show, Big Brother has played crowd noise into the house. Here we go. You can't have a tag hanging down on your dress. Hold the dress like that. There. Thank you. You're well, Key. Where is everyone? I don't Guardian know. Guardian concert, dining room, rock songs, being rock song. Climbing shelves. All the best. Thank you. Good luck. Mate. Mm -hmm. in five minutes. Okay. All the best. Good luck. I took a pace in the first three rounds. You look beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, go on, go on. Just go on, go Right, right, right. left foot, you dropped him, you sat him down, and he got back up. So then you got all the other way back in. Yeah, I'm not going to sit on the outside. Like, I wish I wanted to. Nine twenty p.m. Big Brother has gathered housemates in the living room for tonight's eviction. More peace. <laughs> Do you want a glass? You, know, you, you are turning into Chloe. You are. That's more. not Chloe. Chloe just goes. Mm. Please. Mm, more. I'm saying please. Mm. Though. Yeah, true. More. Mm, give. <laughs> you alright? Be yourself. Be yourself. If not yourself. It can you be? be? <laughs> I really hope you're not banned. I hope okay. so too. Just think about it that like in like in a couple of weeks it'll all be like Oh, for that time we were in the Big Brother house. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's literally... Yeah, you'll call me in, I'll go. Who's this? Gabby? Pardon? <laughs> Gabby. No. Gabby from Gabby from where? Shut up. Big what? There's a way. Oh. Hold up, hold up. Here we go. Shit. Get in there, yeah, yeah. Get in there. <laughs> Celebrity Big Brother House, this is Emma. Hello, Emma. Oh, oh. Hey. Hello, Trico. 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 Hello, I can now reveal the second housemate to be evicted from the Celebrity Big Brother house is... Chloe. Chloe, you have a few minutes to say goodbyes. You'll be leaving the house shortly. 
Go smash it, babe. Go to smash it. You're going to be all right. Enjoy it, Chloe. Enjoy it all. Come on, girl. You got this. I do not want to go up against our deep. <laughs> Just go out there smiling, yeah? Listen to more cheering. More cheering. You'll be fine, mate. You're amazing. I'm not good that. Be safe. Take care of yourself. Take the camera home, OK? Yeah. Look after yourself. Let's see if you're doing something. Hold your head up high, OK? The top guy. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. Thank you. Enjoy it. Have a good night. So everything you want to say, this is where the film starts. Can you smile? Be you. Yeah. This is what people will remember now. Chloe, honey, you showed a great deal more grace and integrity class than a woman 15, 16 years older than you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're a class act, girl. Yeah, class girl. Thank you for everything. Oh, everyone. Thank you. Thanks for being in here with us. Celebrity Big Brother house, this is Emma. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, you are the second person to be evicted. I'm coming to get you. Enjoy it, Chloe. Love you. Love you. Chloe, you have been evicted. Please leave the celebrity Big Brother house. Oh, boy, 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 boy. Oh, oh listen, listen. Oh, they like her. Good. Yeah, they like her, they like her. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll always get a few moves, you know, no one's gonna even get a few cheers. Isn't it? But, uh, yeah, yeah, but there's more cheers, it's more cheers. cheers. So that's all you hear I didn't hear any booze. No, you oh I don't know. That was a good one. Classy, classy girl. That's how, that's how you should leave, isn't it? On a high. Radio 4 crowd are fucking... Are watching, watching Channel 5 this year, aren't they? Ten forty-five pm Nick and Hardeep are reflecting on the evening's events. Is that what you thought was going to happen? Yeah. After the first eviction, you just, I just don't know what to expect. No rationalisation that m makes sense. But fucking hell. Someone out there must like me. Well, it's more than someone, isn't it? Yeah. At least I get to annoy you for another three days. That's fine, that's fine. The, um, I'll enjoy that. I'm scared to come in, but once I got in, uh, I'm scared to go out. Yeah. yeah, it's like you don't know what you're going out yeah. to. Uh-huh. There's your family, no. your missus, is anyone going to be fuming? Is the backlash when you come out? Is it good? It's that unknown that scares me. Mm-hmm. How it looks to other people. Mm -hmm. You know, we know how it totally is, it's, you know what I mean? Like for 10 days or 9 days, how many days, I was just like going with the flow, I've been banned out. And then I was like, how's this all looking, actually? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, and then I felt weird and thinking, then I thought to myself, well, do you know what? I don't want things to change. I don't want any chemistry exactly. to change exactly. and dynamics to change. So I'm going to continue enjoying my experience, and then if I've got to fight yeah. my battles outside and explain anything, then no Because the thing problem. is, if you change something, what if the public loved you for those things uh -huh. that you've done yeah, and changed? Exactly. So like and that's me, it's like me changing me, then. Yeah. I've been myself 100% in here. And the people I've connected with, it's been genuine. So to pull back or to hold back or to act differently would be to, like, compromise yeah. my sincerity. Mm. I just think that this whole experience... It's just, yeah, it's hard. ...messes with your head. Yeah, you mate. form like real bonds. Real bonds, you mean? Like, like so it's 24 then... hours a day. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't spend. Talk about your family, talk about your family. Who do you spend that much time with? Ever, never. Well, even not your partner or your husband or because your you've wife. Got to go to because work. you go to work, they go out. We're eating, sleeping, breathing, everything. Playing. I hope my fellow understands. I, I, he, I was like. That, that's what I'm saying. I hope they understand. If they know you well, they will know. They will understand. Like, all my people know I'm a, you know, 
I just go back and I'm, I go full throttle. Where it's like, Jesus Christ, is that is that right? Is that normal? Is that allowed? Should you be doing that? But I just, you know, it's just, to me, it's just banner, you know. Coming up, Jermaine wishes he picked Dare. Truth. Are you going to see Chloe after you come out of the house? Beep. <laughs> <laughs> You could be living it up like a celebrity with a chance to win a massive £10,000 cash and a five-star luxury holiday for two people to the Maldives. Courtesy of Destinology, you'll spend seven nights platinum plus all-inclusive in a Sunset Junior Suite at the five-star atmosphere Kanafushi Maldives. Sophie, a chance to win £10,000 and a holiday of a lifetime. All you have to do is text CBB to 65555 or post your name and phone number to CBB. PO Box 7557 Derby DE1 Zero NP. Text costs two pounds plus one message at standard network rate. Lines close on the date shown on screen and three working days later for postal entries. For rules and winners, go to channel5.com slash win. Good luck. Eleven twenty two PM. Gabby has spotted that Jermaine is wearing his wedding ring. What is that? Hmm? What is it? On your hand. Madly in love with him. I've never been with him. For live evictions. But now I'll come off now. When I go in my room, it's coming off. I won't wear it again. Cause I don't wear it when I'm at home. I never wear it in the house ever. The only time I ever saw him was when a car came at me. But that's not the original one. I've got a diamond one. But it's You're actually home. mad. Well, no, know. I think he. I, I just think my brother doesn't wear his, you know. What? Sort of out of it, and I was, I was like, what you say? Like really? Around right. the house, I won't. I, I never wear it ever. Does he live in your town? Yes. When I wake up, I don't go yeah. to put it on. <laughs> Hardeep is feeling philosophical. Continuing my tradition of quoting works of literature, uh, curiouser and curiouser. <sighs> you know. To be nominated twice by your housemates, to be saved twice by the public, is a bizarre collision and contradiction. Um, you know, it's massively humbling, you know? My thing's people, and if the people are, have backed me twice, maybe I'm doing something right, you know? Or maybe I'm not doing too much wrong. If you told me now exactly the reasons why I was being nominated, I would hear them. But I'm not sure I'd change them. Because if I change them, then who is taking part in this process? Me or a version of me that wants to win? I should continue to do them, irrespective, in a sense, of how those around me react, with the massive caveat, so long as I feel I'm carrying myself, I'm self-aware enough and checking in with myself enough to make sure I'm, I'm behaving appropriately and you know, politely and kindly and the rest of it. One twenty two AM. For the fifth time, housemates are playing Truth or Dare. Which person have you got a mess with? Um, I find it very easy to be around Kirsty. Okay. I could just watch her. Like, she's very entertaining for me. But also, for her to call you Baby Doris Day is massive. You know that, don't you? <gasps> Germs. Ah, let's not play that, Sonny. I'm going to go... Neither. Truth. Anyone? Be good. You can say anything you want. I will tell you the honest truth. OK. I swear. Do what you must. Do your worst. Go on. If I don't like it, I can just reverse. E e beep, beep, beep. Are you, you going to see Chloe after you come out of the house? Well, of course I'm going to see her at the final. You know what I'm saying? After this whole thing ends. Beep. beep. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'll answer it. I'll answer it. 
What? I, I didn't hear what you said. So after the whole... Oh. No, no, no. After the entire Celebrity Big Brother what escapade... What is it? Time. ...ends. Will you see Chloe? What do you mean? Would I meet up and, like... Yes, would you meet up with her? Well... It all depends on the, on the circumstances, I guess. Which circumstances would you feel comfortable with? Well, I don't know. That's a very honest answer. It's a truth, and you gave us a truth. It wouldn't be like, let's go for dinner or it drink. It wouldn't be that. No, it wouldn't. <sighs> oh. Bowling? No, H no. Hot dog. What, what do you, wait, I need to think about this. I need to think about this. Something astonishing and interesting. No, but she's a friend, so, yeah. y y you know. Well, do you know what? I'd stop there if I were you. Yeah. Two forty-three a.m. Most of the housemates are asleep. Jermaine and Ben are worrying about life on the outside. No, I feel like I'm going home to shit. I do. I feel like I go home to shit, even when yeah. I'm outside. I could um That's what gone I'm to, I could have gone to a shopping centre and I'm thinking I'm gonna come home to shit. It's like a break, isn't it? You, know, you think you think, fuck me, I need a break from the it's shit. It's like I get chaos everywhere I go. I wake up every day thinking, what's next? Yeah. What's gonna come from? What are you telling me? Well then. And that's what shits me up, because I'm like this. Oh, what has Ben done now? What's he done now? <clears throat> and you're like, you're me, you're like a mischievous fucker, aren't you? You're like this. Oh, my, I'm... No, I see I, it. I, but of course, I'm I've been, that's me all my life, and that's me. I, I yeah, can't Yeah, that's change. you. I can't, you know, I will always... I'm not saying cross the line, but I always walk on that line. Yeah. You know, and that's what's I, I'm just that guy. I, and that's, you know? yeah, but that's why... I'm not a bad person. You ain't a bad lad, but at the same time... We just get ourselves in bad situations. I'm not, you You're know, exactly I'm not, the same I don't want to see no one upset. Yeah, I know, but at the same time, I make people upset. But I, I don't. You don't mean to. Yeah, I don't mean to. You really. don't mean to. I love my answer, but I'm not perfect. I've got some serious issues. And all the people are close, I do push away and... What do you mean? What, you push... Like, not people who, you know, who really got the best interests are... I, I, I struggle to show emotions sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And... If I feel that person who's, who's close to me does something wrong, I will, I will put my guard up and then I will go and do something to try and make me feel better. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, I Yeah. Uh, I'll always be my character, my personality. Which I'm is not, amazing. Yeah, and I'm not going to start you know. changing from a different environment, like be all, you know, uh, you know, acting totally different. I'll be a clown, I'll be stupid. And do you know what? Bless you, you're honest and you're honest and I respect that. You're a real man, mate. And that's what it's about. Like, half the time, I got my own self to blame, like, but... Yeah, but, yeah I make me own. Yeah. I make shit for myself. <laughs> yeah, make it hard, ten times harder. Yeah, all day long, but that's just... Yeah. Our, that's our makeup, isn't it, mate? Tomorrow, housemates are caught in a loop. Ryan and Dan, the temperature in the house has been raised by your hotness. So Big Brother has arranged for you two to have an ice-cold bath to cool down. Go! 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 Ah! 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 This is our... <laughs> the temperature in the house has been raised by your hotness. Go, 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 go. Ah! Come on! The temperature in the house has... I don't know if you'll have children after this, I'm just saying, but go ahead. <laughs> it's definitely cold, you know. That's what the little spermers will say. <laughs> <laughs> this week, you have the power to take part in the People's Nomination. Head to the Big Brother website or download the Big Brother app from the App Store or Play Store to vote for your favourite housemate. The two housemates with the fewest votes will be announced on Friday's show when their fellow housemates will choose who to evict live. Who goes... They decide. For full terms and conditions, go to the Big Brother website. Bobby Norris and his cow milking skills prove exactly why milk needs to be filtered in new celebs on the farm over on Five Star Next. While after the break here, we've all had that little voice in our head, but imagine having more than a dozen of them actually fighting for control. My Multiple Personalities and Me is next. <laughs> <laughs> 